farms are smart and connected, warehouses are smart and connected, construction sites, manufacturing plants, industrial plants. And what we're going to see is as these things get digitized, we're going to see across every sector some pattern like this. With agriculture, the end consumer is going to start cooking in a smart kitchen. They're going to get that food from smart retail or service providers. They're going to get that from smart logistics uh, change. They're going to get that from smart processing and it's just going to work its way back and it's going to get digitized in each stage. But then what's going to be really exciting is not only is the uh, production plant going to be able to tell the aggregator and trading exactly how many soybean stock, how much my soybean stock is and how much it will cost and, and, and make decisions like that, they're going to start communicating with each other. And so we're going to move from a supply chain to sort of like a connected ecosystem. So we want to think about how do we plug into that connected ecosystem. I'd like to now apply this now internally. This is really exciting. Now the ability to coordinate things used to be most efficient when we coordinated hierarchically. That's why most firms are run like centrally planned economies. You've got a boss who decides where money goes, who works on what, what people get paid. But we know centrally planned economies don't work in, in dynamic environments. And so we're starting to see a new form of, of, of organization. 